All right, so the purpose of this video is to provide an overview of the process required to build an integrated financial statement model, which I think will help you visualize where you are in the model building process in the video that follows. Overall, I think it's really helpful to have a superficial understanding of what you're diving into beforehand. So when you build the first integrated financial statement model, you'll be using historical data from the income statement and balance sheet to project the company's future. So how do we do that? Well, the sequence can be outlined as follows. The first step is to input the historical data. You will then project the three financial statements, starting with the income statement, then the balance sheet, and finally the cash flow statement. And then finally, you will build out your supporting schedules, which in this example include the debt schedule and the property plant and equipment schedule. It's a short list, but I think it's helpful to keep this sequence in mind as you build the model. The full model will be a more detailed version of this tab, but this is a fully integrated financial statement model. On the left-hand side, you have your three financial statements, the income statement, the balance sheet, and the cash flow statement. And on the right-hand side, your two supporting schedules, the debt schedule and the property plant and equipment schedule. The process of building the model will really help you understand how the three financial statements relate to one another. It appears complicated, but we're going to break it down step by step. When you're building the more detailed model, we will start with a template. Building a great template in and of itself is a great skill set and shouldn't be overlooked. But it's a bit tedious, so we don't include this portion in the model. Regardless, you should really familiarize yourself with all of the line items and the order in which they are presented on each of the financial statements and their respective supporting schedules. The video will start by demonstrating how to input historical data. With the historical data populated in the model, you will then project the income statement, but leave interest expense blank because this will be calculated on the debt schedule. The next step is to project the balance sheet but here you will leave cash blank until it is calculated on the cash flow statement below, property plant and equipment blank until it's calculated on the PP&E schedule to the right, and the current portion of long-term debt and long-term debt blank until calculated on the debt schedule. Next, you will project the cash flow statement, and here depreciation and capital expenditures will be left blank until calculated on the PP&E schedule. And in this example, the remaining items under cash flow from financing activities will be calculated on the debt schedule. With the cash flow statement projected, you can link to cash on the balance sheet. And finally, you will turn your attention to the supporting schedules, starting with the debt schedule. With the debt schedule projected, you can link to interest expense on the income statement and the corresponding items on the balance sheet and cash flow statement. The last step is to build out the property plant and equipment schedule. And with these numbers projected, you can link to the balance sheet for property plant and equipment, depreciation on the cash flow statement, and capital expenditures also on the cash flow statement. And that's all there is to it. Here you have a fully integrated financial statement model. And I thought I would take just a moment to point out that this is actually an integrated financial statement model built in Excel. Here you'll notice that all of the links mentioned in the introduction to financial statements hold true, like the cash flow statements starting with net income, or retained earnings growing by net income in each period. You will even see the check for the accounting equation in each period on the balance sheet. And that's it. I hope that with this overview out of the way, you feel a little bit more prepared to tackle the first financial model. So feel free to get started. Okay then, bye bye now.